breaking news from D.C. Trump just made border wall deal. Various ideas have swirled about who will foot the approximately $21 billion to make President Donald Trump's most important campaign promise come true, all of which have failed to work out, until now. We've previously reported that the $14 billion seized from notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman would make a good dent in the building costs since he's responsible for why we need the barrier anyway. However, that cash can't be used for this project despite El Chapo having no need for the money in prison. Other ideas haven't worked out as well either, but now we're getting word of an unexpected hero to our legal immigration issue coming forward with the finances to take care of the cost once and for all. Although we wish that the ingenious idea of illegal El Chapo's cash covering a large part of the expense, for the irony that it would be, Ted Cruz's proposition for this wasn't a possibility. As quickly as that idea was shot down, a surprise financier showed up overnight with the approximately $21 billion needed to foot the bill and you won't believe where it came from. Although the lengthy construction process is already underway, it could be finished much quicker than originally thought after having solved one of the biggest challenges it has faced to date. Building a big, beautiful wall on the southern border was Trump's signature promise during his campaign winning him support from advocates for hardline immigration reform, the little fact reported. Ironically, someone on the wrong side of that issue could be paying for it. Breitbart reports. President Donald Trump restated his promise to make Mexico pay for his big wall on the southern border, suggesting that they would do it by renegotiating NAFTA. They can pay for it indirectly through NAFTA, Trump said in an interview with The Wall Street Journal on Thursday. We make a good deal on NAFTA, and, say, I'm going to take a small percentage of that money and it's going toward the wall. Guess what? Mexico's paying. He insisted that NAFTA was a bad deal for the United States and said that nothing's changed about his campaign promise to renegotiate the deal. I can tell you I think the American market would go up if I terminated NAFTA and renegotiated a new deal, Trump said. President Donald Trump restated his promise to make Mexico pay for his big wall on the southern border, suggesting that they would do it by renegotiating NAFTA. They can pay for it indirectly through NAFTA, Trump said in an interview with The Wall Street Journal on Thursday. We make a good deal on NAFTA, and, say, I'm going to take a small percentage of that money and it's going toward the wall. Guess what? Mexico's paying. He insisted that NAFTA was a bad deal for the United States and said that nothing's changed about his campaign promise to renegotiate the deal. I can tell you I think the American market would go up if I terminated NAFTA and renegotiated a new deal, Trump said. He threatened to terminate NAFTA unless they could reach a renegotiation of the trade deal, but said he was waiting until after the presidential elections in Mexico. I understand that a lot of things are hard to negotiate prior to an election, he said. They have an election coming up fairly shortly. I understand that makes it a little bit difficult for them. If NAFTA doesn't work out for paying for it or liberals stand in the way of allowing that to happen, the financing problem could soon be solved if Alabama Senator Luther Strange gets his way. Strange went on Fox News Tucker Carlson to discuss his idea of where this much-needed wad of cash can come from right now, and it's as ironic as using drug money to pay for it. Those who want immigrants in this country don't seem to have an issue with paying for them to be here, so they should be okay with footing the bill to keep them in their country. Strange explained to Tucker that the funds should come directly from so-called sanctuary cities who don't follow the law. In essence, this would be a fine for going against the president, not cooperating with local police, refusing to turn immigrants in, and worst of all, actually preventing people from fairly bidding on the border wall. Sanctuary cities like San Francisco, California punish their citizens for participating in bidding on the construction of the wall by banning them from doing any other work in the city. This is not a democracy. It's a dictatorship decided by liberals and since they aren't stopping, Strange wants them to pay for the wall that's already written into law. The senator's simple solution is that cities who refuse to comply with the nation's law aren't going to get the money that they expect from the government because it's going to go to building the wall. It makes perfect sense to not reward bad behavior with cash that could be used to ensure the rule of law which our nation is built on.
sanctuary cities don't make their own rules and can't expect other people to pay for it when it goes against what the president has already set. Rather than defunding these defiant cities, divert the funding and let their laws be the country's gain. Along this same line of logic that Strange presented, costs of this wall could also be met if America stopped or slowed the flow of funding to Mexico. It only makes sense to use the money being sent over the border for the barrier between us since we're also trying to block Mexican citizens from entering America illegally. This isn't about keeping good people out and prevent people from wanting to seek a better life and the American dream, it's only about preventing those from entering the wrong way and wreaking havoc, compromising citizens' safety, and sapping off our resources. If it's important to become a law-abiding American citizen and reap the rewards of living in this country, there's an immigration to follow to prove those intentions.